patients who were presented as first uh, incidence of heart failure, and there was no past history of heart failure. So to this effect, we know that 43% of proportion of overall patients who were de novo heart failure with rates ranging from 20% North America to 79% in Southeast Asia. And in preventive study, studies, 66% patients were newly diagnosed. So de novo heart failure is a, is a very, very important challenge and constitutes a very large patient's population presenting with heart failure. There was significant lower incidence of composite of CV death heart failure expression in de novo patients of heart failure who were treated with ARNI as the first drug of choice. In transition study, again, uh, it was uh, decided to initiate ARNI shortly after hospitalization for ADHF patient or with newly diagnosed de novo heart failure patient. And it was very well tolerated and very well accepted in terms of escalating the doses. Uh, so the transition besides Pioneer HF has also taught us that ARNI should be started right at the first opportunity when a patient is being discharged from ICU and is off all IV diuretics or IV drugs. Coming to the cellular aspect of heart failure, how it is impacted by using ARNI, there have been plethora of data where both LV ejection fraction, LV in diastolic volumes, left atrial volumes, and various parameters of systolic function of heart failure have been found to be improved by using ARNI in the population. So there's a scientific proof in improvement ejection fraction by using ARNI in your heart failure patient. Uh, HS uh, high sensitivity troponin concentration was found to be low. The anti PMPs were found to be low by using this. So more de novo than prior heart failure patients achieved target dose at week 10. This is the, 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 the dose analysis or the dose trial where it was not difficult to escalate doses to the desired values of 200 milligram twice a day or at least 100 milligram twice a day of ARNI in this population of de novo heart failure when they were being discharged from CCU. And the transition study results have also shown that in de novo heart failure, initiation of ARNI at the first opportunity is the best way to go than waiting. So in 21 uh, update uh, to the 17 ACC expert consensus decision pathway uh, of heart failure, we know that once these patients of heart failure are treated with diuretics, ARNI is a preferred foundational therapy along with beta blockers in diuretic for symptom control. And uh, it is also recommended now in newly diagnosed ACE and ARB naive patients. So one need not wait for ACE ARB to start. Uh, one could use an MRA if the GFR permits, like aldosterone or ethylenone, and now, of course, finasterone. Uh, as GLT is an important pillar, fourth pillar of therapy in half ref population, of course, now in half pref also. Diuretic are a must is as minimum possible dose as possible because they can harm the kidney functions, but they are very paramount for the control of symptoms. Hydrolysis isosorbide combination is reserved for patients of heart failure. Advanced heart failure are not improving on foundational therapies, and they could be used for a short term without any mortality advantage. And if heart failure, if the heart rate is not controlled by using optimal dose of beta blocker, one can take help of ibuprofen to control heart rate to a value of less than 70 or even 60. So that is the uh, aim. And all these therapies should be recruited within three to six months of time after the initial diagnosis of heart failure. And RNA should be considered definitely as a first line therapy uh, instead of having ACE and ARB for the titration purpose of testing them. So this is a repetition that class 1A indication in class 2 to class 3 NYHA patients of heart failure, ARNI should be the first choice for both mortality and morbidity reduction of these heart failure population.